Hello and welcome. I'm Brian Captain, editor of The Banker. I'm with Gottfried Liebrand, the CEO of Swift, and we're talking about Cybos in Sydney. Uh, it's just coming up. Gottfried, we're all excited about it. Now, we can't have a conversation about Swift issues without talking about cybersecurity. Uh, it's been more than two years now since uh, the unfortunate uh, hack on, on, in Bangladesh on the central bank. Uh, I mean, where are we since then? You know, what have we learned? Uh, is the problem getting better or worse, or where are we? <coughs> You ask, are we winning? Are we winning? At, le yeah. at least we're not losing, I think. And that you, you can never win the, the battle on cyber, I think. You can just make sure that you don't lose it. Uh, we launched a, a fairly comprehensive uh, customer security uh, program uh, two, two years ago. Um, multiple pillars. A big one was information sharing. So uh, uh, sharing with Swift the information uh, of banks that are hacked, which we then publish in the form of, of uh, indications of compromise and, and modus operandi, etc. I think that has been hugely valuable because it really allows banks to see what they need to defend against. Uh, All right. and, and, and just to interrupt you there, I mean, it's something that banks haven't liked to do, isn't it? <laughs> it is always difficult because it's, it's reputation and, and they do it because it's anonymous and, and it's on an anonymous basis and in a trusted, uh, in a trusted environment uh, but traditionally if you talk to cyber people you'll find that cross-border information sharing has always been very very difficult to achieve and I think we can be proud that at least we made that work for uh, for the Swift environment the other area where information sharing really works is in case banks get hacked they share the information immediately with banks down the chain so the the, the recovery of funds has been one of one of the uh, I think areas of noteworthy yeah. uh, success in, in many cases you've seen in, in, in newspaper stories of attempted amounts that were much bigger than the actual losses, which is thanks to quick recovery, th quick information sharing, uh, and, and making sure the money's, money's not paid out. Um, then we had uh, uh, changing of the tools, hardening of the interface, etc., where we can uh, where we can see uh, results. And then we had the controls that banks need to implement in their Swift uh, back office uh, environment, the 16 uh, mandatory controls. Um, where we ask people to self-attest to their correspondence on, on that uh, by the end of the last year. Because it is down to people in the end, isn't it? <coughs> Absolutely, and, and, P and banks have to do the work in their own environment to, to make it more secure. That was, that was what that was about. I think by the end of last year already we, were, we saw close to 90% of all the banks doing that, that, uh, that self-attestation. At the end of this year they're going to have to be self-attestant again, but also be compliant with the mandatory uh, controls. So that will be that will be a big effort. And then the ones that aren't compliant, we report the the, the bigs of those banks to the local to the local supervisor. So that's a whole process of publishing the the, the self-attestations, but also consuming for correspondence to to be aware of what controls has my counterparty put in place, how safe is my counterparty, and what offsetting controls do I need to put in place. Overall, a, a, a huge undertaking for the banking industry. I have to say, we, we've seen engagement, we've seen people take action, etc. And I think if you look at the actual, uh, what's happened since two and a half years ago, I think we can we can say that we've achieved quite a lot. Uh, but, but the hackers haven't stopped, stopped trying, though, have they? I mean, we, we've had lots of attempts. <laughs> we have, they they some, haven't. Some with yeah. success. Mm -hmm. They haven't stopped trying, uh, but I, I think for us, at least, the, the, what, what we can claim is that uh, we haven't seen a repeat of, of the amounts that we saw in, uh, in Bangladesh, uh, at least. And that, for a threat that globally keeps increasing, I mean, uh, it's not just in the SWIFT, all across the board we see increasing sophistication of cyber, so this battle is far from over. Mm -hmm. But I think so far, at least, knock on wood, uh, the, the measures have been able to prevent the repeat of that. And how can you keep ahead of, of the cyber hackers? Um, <coughs> because... I mean, once you prevent one way of getting into a bank, they're going to look for the next one. Yeah. And I, I think that if you take the history of bank robberies and when people still rob banks physically, banks put in lots of measures, right? Hardened ATMs, hardened branches, there's a whole slew of things that they, that they put in place. And I think ultimately that managed to convert what was an essential threat into a manageable nuisance and people looking elsewhere to, to steal money. I think at the end of the day, you try to achieve the same thing here by all the banks and SWIFT together taking these measures. You make sure that, that overall we have a very different environment and it's just not worth the investment to, to do these type of hacks. That's, uh, uh, but at the moment, I mean, I mean, there have been very few prosecutions, so we haven't really deterred anybody. <laughs> Well, I don't know. That, that, that's law enforcement at the end of the day. Um, I do have to say that law enforcement is, is on, on these cases, and I would say let's, let's see where that, uh, where that is. So how far do you think we are from getting to, to the equivalent you, know, you just described in the physical world, where it's a manageable nuisance rather than a life or death threat? 
It would be hard to say how, I, I, arguably we're, we're, we're there, well, but again, we can be proven wrong any day now, eh? so I, I'm always very careful with these, uh, with these statements, uh, but I think so far, with all the efforts made, um, I think we can, we can at least claim partial, uh, partial success. Okay, Godfrey, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.